my name is Marie-Claude Fleury. I do vocals, I play oboe, English horn, and I do drum programming for Disorientation. Hi, my name is Daniel Davis. I play bass and guitars for Disorientation. And we are located in Montreal, Canada. Uh, the need to express myself. There has been so many songs that have helped me throughout the years when I wasn't feeling a hundred percent. So uh, I feel it's my time to give back. In my case, when uh, I think 25 years ago, uh, I had some friends in high school who wanted to start a band and one of them uh, was a guitar player and the other one started to learn drum so i decided to to pick the bass and finally the band never happened of course and <laughs> well i just kept going like i feel like i've been playing since forever and i became totally addicted to bass guitar, I also love uh, guitar, but bass guitar is my main instrument and uh, well, I think I'm gonna play until I die, so expect a lot of release. <laughs> this orientation just popped into my mind and I thought it was a great name because there's no uh, pre-established connection around it. You know, it's not like you look at that band name and you can tell right away what type of music we play because uh, we are very hard to uh, categorize and also it's a very unique name so it was very appropriate for what we do. I love the name because it sounds... I don't know if the, the right word will be this distorted or warp it sounds like something's not right I, I really really love it and it fits with the, the the dissonant guitar chords we play not just guitars but dissonance in general I love it I really really love it we have an EP coming out on December 1st 2023 called survival mode like our first effort, it's a three-song EP, uh, and it's uh, more crisp, and the music is faster than on our first EP, uh, so uh, we wanted it to be uh, more uh, raw and a little bit more in your face, and it's uh, coming out uh, December 1st. Yeah, it's, it's more extreme than a previous uh, EP. Uh, the first one started very slow, like uh, like Black Sabbath, like early Black Sabbath, a bit scary. Now it's super fast. So. <laughs> Survival mode is about uh, everything that you do to be able to cope with bad situations. Uh, for example, the association is about uh, uh, disconnecting yourself from uh, something that you don't like to feel or a situation where you don't want to be there. Jaded is about uh, forcing yourself to uh, stop feeling any emotion that you may feel just to be able to get by and not uh, break down all the time and the last song uh, dark side is about questioning all the people who come to you and say oh we're going to help you you're not feeling all right and you should do this and this and that and it's about questioning the reason why they're coming to you out of nowhere like that and saying, okay, is it good or is it not good? So those are the three songs from our EP who uh, describe uh, some uh, uh, survival tactics, if we can call them like that. And that's why we call this survival mode. We wanted the 
artwork to be a visual representation of the lyrical content. I drew the artwork myself. This is the uh, original pen and paper version. And uh, we, after that, uh, I scanned it and changed a little bit the colors to make it look good uh, on the computer. And it's, uh, it's very metaphorical. It's what you do, uh, essentially what you do to uh, get through bad situations, even if it doesn't look good to the eyes of the, the people in general. <laughs> week I just listened to Matter Morton's latest single. Uh, they have an album coming out and I'm very looking forward to hear the entire album. But as for a uh, new music that has caught my ear, uh, I don't really look at the publication date of a music. It's just if I happen to listen to something even if it came out like five years, ten years, a hundred years earlier and I like it, then I will listen to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not into trends at all. In my case, the new Cryptopsy is amazing, very brutal, very extreme. I love it. Unfortunately, I forgot the title because uh, my memory uh, as, sucks. As Gomorrah Burns. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's why she does the lyrics, and I don't. Okay. Well, Montreal, uh, in Canada, it's a, it's a city that has been known for uh, metal bands of uh, all types. There are metal shows every weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a lot of variety, a lot of styles, but... Uh, there's an emphasis on uh, technical and extreme metal bands. In Montreal, it's mostly about skills and speed. and It's mostly extreme and very technical. Mm. That's, yeah. that's what we are most known for. Maybe not in our case, no, but, no, we're but not Montreal. A, we're not technical. We can be a bit challenging yeah, in, the, in, the, in, the way, in the way we write our music, but we're not, not I'm not our... skilled enough to shred oh. like an insane guitar player. I'm not. <laughs> mm -hmm. For us, our future plans are to uh, build a full lineup so okay. we can play Disorientations music live. Uh, and we want to uh, create a live presence and do shows and bring uh, the music to the public. Yeah, because so far we're only two persons in the band. So, uh... Because it does rule. Yeah. It's powerful, <laughs> it's intense. And it allows you to express what uh, is not necessarily aesthetical and okay to express in polite society. So that's why uh, we're into metal and that we're still into metal even as we get older. Yeah. I don't think uh, St. Lambert City really likes metal. Because they, they complain all the time when there's a metal festival at Montreal, but who cares? So, anything else? Uh, well, thanks to Metal Rules for allowing us to talk about our band and showcase our music. Because as a newer band, it's uh, pretty hard to... to uh, to show uh, what you have, the space is very crowded, so thank you Metal Rules. Yeah, thanks a lot and uh, thank you for uh, uh, for people who listen to us, even if you don't like it, it it's fine, you, you give it a shot, so <laughs> mm. take care.